Hi Virgos, we are back again and uh, this will be for your love reading. I'm doing this almost immediately after I cut off the general read. So, uh, general reading for Virgos love, August 2017. This shall be for all the singles, in between and also for the couples. In between will be for those of you in a complicated relationship or just out of, out of love, just, um, yeah, just out of love. Uh, or someone you have someone very close uh, to you with you but there's nothing official for you that's in between so singles and in between will be for the first five card spread and the next five card spread will be for um, couples uh, and all of this shall be for Virgos Virgos August 2017 love reading Virgos August 2017 love reading what do we have for Virgos Virgos Virgos, one last shuffle. Virgos, love reading for the month of August 2017 for all the singles, couples, and in between. First five cards for singles and couples. Uh, sorry, first five cards for singles and in between couples will be a different five cards. So, let me channel the energy for love reading Virgo, August 2017. First five cards for singles and in between. The next five be for couples. Singles, 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 and singles. Couples, couples, couples. Do you see the same cards are coming out? And I've shuffled it enough, shuffled it enough to annoy you that you wanted me to start soon. <laughs> okay, and the general energy for singles and in between. General energy for singles and in between. Prince of Wands. Prince of Wands. General energy for couples. Four of Swords. Again, we have similar cards coming out. So, for singles and in between, your general energy is actually the Prince of Wands. Prince is a fire energy. Wands is also a fire energy. So, we are seeing very strong fire energy over here that's brewing as your general energy. I'm not saying that you are dealing with any one of a fire sign, but I'm saying that there's this fire energy within you and about you. This is your general energy. So, it is about you. Your general energy is that there's this... Uh, it is... If you if you just if you just read just watch that general read, I was saying that you Virgos this month in the month of August, a lot of you are being very restful, restful in your words, your communication, your decision, and this fire energy over here is about you again making a decision in, in a heartbeat. Like you're just leaving, um, could be leaving. I do not know what I'm saying, leaving, but you're just making a decision in a heartbeat. This is fire. It's a, it is a very restful uh, energy over here, a very heat up, heated energy over here. You could, you could be in a heated debate, heated uh, uh, argument with someone over here, Prince of Wands, for you singles and in between. So that's your general energy. You are in a heat, uh, in a heat up, in a heated this, uh, um, uh, environment with someone else. For singles, potentially whom you are dating, whom you are seeing, and also for in between, some of you who uh, just come out of a relationship, so it will be your other half, who used to be your other half. You are in a heated, heated, uh, heated um, a relationship with this someone even for singles so we've got the emperor over here emperor is about someone being high up in a position been there done that jaded uh a very experienced person over here uh sometimes could be demanding demanding domineering uh conquering the world um um so that that's the emperor could it be you it could be you virgos it could be you virgo singles or whom it's like 
whatever you say, it's just about whatever you say. Like nobody else has got to say. It's just whatever you say, whatever you feel. It's all about you because you are the emperor over here. Four of Cups is about you ignoring somebody's else, somebody's uh emotion, somebody's um moods and swing, mood moods and mood swing. You are just ignoring. You are not being sensitive enough because this uh, this is cup. The 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 suit of cup is about emotions, emotions, love, and everything else. And this person is turning his or her back away on this emotion over here. I'm just feeling very strongly that Virgos, you are you haven't been sensitive enough this month. And it could be due to your insensitivity that is causing the, you know, why whatever that you are in right now. And that's the reason why you are looking at a love relationship reading. So if you are single, it could it could be due to you being the emperor here, very jaded, very domineering in a a a like a very uh pow someone who's powerful but in a in a not in the best not in the best way but in a not so good way over here the emperor so you are this and you are being insensitive you are just like your words are final and it, it is always about you sometimes it could mean selfish selfishness over here insensitivity the hangman and you are there's no actions coming from you. In in a way, when we say there are no actions coming from you, we are talking about there is no effort because this is a hangman. Hangman is about someone hanging around, waiting, floating around, not taking actions over here, the hangman. And it could just mean you. For singles, for singles, especially for Virgo singles, you are there's no effort coming from you. There is no uh actions or there's no just no actions. Sorry, effort seems to be a, a wrong word or a strong um uh 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 to a word to, that's too extreme to to talk to use on you but let's just say there is no actions coming from you king of cups i think people this king of cups is about external people external people external people has been very giving very loving towards you you are meeting people who has been very kind and it could be due to this this person that there is this person who has been very loving or people are expressing their love, uh, treating you in a very kind way, uh, especially we are talking about um, like in terms of love reading, a love interest. But the more they are better, better to you, the more you are taking advantage of it over here. I'm saying you are taking advantage and you are just waiting and sitting around, just taking and not giving. There's some, some kind of imbalance over here. King of Cups. So this King of Cups is a very touchy, is a very sensitive, a very loving person here. So there is this person appearing in your spread. King of Sword. But again, I'm telling you, King of Sword over here is a card. Sword is about a card of communication. And King is actually a very strong energy. So when we talk about a King versus a Queen, a King is more... Um, it's like a it's like a knight, it's like a warrior where a queen is more feminine. So the king being the man, it is more harsh. Uh, he deals with he deals with events, he deals with people in a harsh in a very harsh way and manner. So it could just be you. So I'm seeing the way I'm looking at this spread is that someone there is someone very loving, very forgiving towards you, um, very patient with you, but you have been taking advantage. Like, I I don't know whether if it's because you are taking advantage or you're just being very insensitive over here. So I hope that this reading is uh, signaling to you as a wake-up call to to regain your senses, to stop being so willful. Is it, yeah, I mean, yes, willful is the word over here. Willful. You're just being very willful, playful, and uh, just being insensitive. Like just, you're just being like a child over here, Virgos. You're just like a child. Even though most of you, uh, Virgos, I think generally the trait about you is that you take care of people very well. You always, you are always taking care of people. It, okay, as we are speaking of that, we are also seeing, it could also mean that uh, you are this king of cups. You are this king of cups and the person whom you are dealing with, so it's almost and pretty much the total opposite of what I've just said. So it could be you who have been very patient and very forgiving, very loving to this someone else. Uh, for singles would be someone whom you are potentially dating, seeing. And for those in between would be your, your ex, your last partner whom you are with. You have been very forgiving, but this person is taking advantage of you, Virgos. And it is in a very harsh way, very harsh manner. They use words to insult you. They, they are... Um, a lot of fight and quarreling is happening in a very harsh way. So 
between the both of you. So even for singles, I'm seeing if if you have got someone that you are seeing very closely, or uh, or even if you are not having a partner, I'm telling you it is all. If you are single and if you do not have a partner, I'm telling you the issues may be on you. The issues is on you for singles. Because it can't, it can't actually mean that, you know, for everyone that whom you are dealing with is taking advantage of you. Could that be? Can you just tell me in the comments? Could it be everyone that you are dealing with is taking advantage of you? I do not know what are the chances like could you be meeting 10 like meeting 10 days and 10, 10 of them all 10 of them are taking advantage of you it's rarely the case and most likely it is just you you are the you are the problem here who is uh, insensitive and taking advantage or not making any plans actions uh, movement effort over here all right so however it resonates for you singles and in between I just don't I just don't see the logic. This is by the logic. I don't I just don't see the logic. With this energy that's very uh strong here on fire, like in a heated debate, in a heated uh argument over here, I just don't see how is it that you are like all ten people whom you meet, whom you date are against you. Logically, it could only mean that the problem is on you and every other time when you meet someone else, you just have to quarrel. You just have to got to be so insensitive and taking advantage of people over here using a very harsh uh, harsh manner. It logically making sense. It should, more, it should be more like you, but I mean, um, I do not know. Let me know. Let me know. So that's for you singles and in between. That's about 11.50. Okay, so coming to couples over here, we have got the bottom of the deck, we have got four of swords. So four of swords, oh my god, I'm thinking about some of you, some of you Virgos are thinking about... It is very extreme. It is going to be very extreme. It is about you, either you wanting to settle down, settle down and progress with your partner to the next stage. Uh, if you are married, you may want to settle further as in like having uh, having kids, setting up family uh, with your partner. Or if you are just single, I mean, you are just attached in a, in a, in a, yeah, attached in an attached relationship, you may want to marry this person, like plans and uh, your uh, plans about marrying. Otherwise, the ex extreme end will just mean that you are thinking about breaking up with someone else over here. So this this card being your general energy, four of sword, which is about a lot about thinking and planning over here. I was just, if you haven't seen the general general uh, read, I was showing you this card that I usually use. Wait, hang on. I I oh yeah, this is it. Four of Swords. If you see this four, four of Swords is about someone who's planning, making plans over here. Four of Swords. And but this card, this card is showing the energy that someone is in a very resting, is, is, is in a resting mode over here, thinking about and planning about something very deeply. Or something that's very serious over here, a very serious matter, very it's a major event here. So it's either you're thinking about breaking up, leaving, leaving, um, breaking up a, a, a relationship or you are wanting to progress your relationship to the next phase there's a lot of in this month of august for you couples your general energy is about you thinking about uh the state the 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 state uh of your relationship right now four of sword and uh, we've got the star card the star card is about wish wishing upon the star there is uh you virgos uh that that you have wishes, you have wishes, you have expectation of the relationship in your current relationship. So the wish is about like expecting, hoping, hopes and dreams. Uh, so that's the star. So in this relationship itself, it is a lot about you are having expectation. Someone, okay, may, maybe you, maybe someone else, but let's see what's, uh, what's coming up. So there's expectation here in the relationship. Could be you towards the relationship or the other half towards the relationship or you. Um, six of Wands is about six of Wands is about victory. Um, uh, is about I'm 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 feeling very strongly like I don't know man like a bit of like um 
one one night stand. Six of Wands over here. So six of Wands over here is about someone who's uh who's leading in a situation, leading more than fifty percent, leading. Sometimes it may mean vic being victorious, having the upper hand, having the upper hand over here. Six of Wands. This is about. It's looking like a victory. Someone. I mean, this person is on the carriage. Uh, moving on. Uh, coming into the picture with a carriage. It is looking a lot and sensing like victory, feeling victorious over here. So that's someone is having an upper hand. I do not know. And let's see what's the whole story about. And we have got the hermit. Hermit is someone who's alone. Um, who is wise, wise and even wiser being alone during alone times. Uh, that's the hermit, someone who has got a lot of uh, wisdom with him or her. Uh, he, someone who knows, who knows, uh, someone who knows his or her own action, but not necessarily means someone who knows what's ahead. And apparently the hermit is someone who's searching for his or her own path and journey ahead. So this person, this card, the hermit, is talking about a clear state of mind. Someone is in a clear state of mind, and someone here is in a in a in a state of victory, feeling victorious over here. Could they be the the same person? Let's see. And we've got eight of cups. Uh, eight of cups is about uh, moving on, moving on, moving away. Um, but in a in a way, it's like they hated they hated to do this. They hate. They hate to do this, but they have to. It's about having to. It's not about wanting to. Eight of Cups. This is about moving away, leaving, leaving a situation behind, moving off. And we have got Six of Pentacles over here. Six of Pentacles is a lot about giving and taking. Look at these two person over here. They are taking and this person here is giving. It's a lot about giving and taking. And let's see how can I... Um, Jow the story together. So we've got the star. We've got a planning card, which is your general energy. Someone is planning, planning for some some major event, and we've got someone who's victorious, victory, uh, having an upper hand. The hermit, a wise man who's uh on the search for his own life, leaving behind. I may need clarifiers for this time round. Bear with me, Virgos. Let me draw clarifiers. Let me draw clarifiers. Um, yeah, I haven't been drawing clarifiers for the last few signs that I've been doing, but uh, I think I may need yours because I want to be very clear who is who is what in this situation. Oh wow! Ah. For Virgos, couples, love reading, clarifiers, please. Virgos, Virgos and couple, Virgos couple, Virgo couples for August twenty seventeen. Clarifiers, clarifiers to the star, to the six of wands, to the hermit, to eight of cups, six of pentacles. So what do we have? Can we have clarifiers? Clarifiers for Virgos couples spread for the month of August twenty seventeen. One last shuffle clarifiers for Virgos, please. Virgos couples. Alright, okay. I'm feeling more like a breakup right now. Okay, it is a breakup. Thinking of about leaving a leaving a love relationship. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got the star card once again. I think there's a lot about balancing for you, Virgos. Uh, most of you, Virgos, are not seeing a balance in your current relationship with your couple, with your other half, because we've got the star card. Um, the star card 
uh, the last star card over here is verse uh, is clarifying for Six of Pentacles. I said that Six of Pentacles is about giving and taking and the star card is about ideal, something that ideal you you secretly wish upon, that you secretly want, your hope, you are wishing and hoping upon the star. This ideally you want your, your relationship to be a balanced one where um, uh, but apparently Six of Pentacles is about it's about sufficiency, but not both of you are in a sufficient state, in a sufficient mode right now. One of you are giving a lot and the other one of you, the other half, the other party is taking a lot. And ideally, this is not balanced. Yes, it is talking about someone is, uh, it is, someone is su sufficient, someone is uh, able to do well to do, good to do. But it's not ideal because there's only one of them and... This person who's good to do right now is giving a lot, giving a lot in a relationship. It can be due to finances, money, or it could just be due to any other resources, material or non-material. A lot of, it could just mean patience. It could just mean patience, uh, love, giving a lot of love, but, and one, this other party, this other, other person is just taking the love and not reciprocating back. All right. This card, Eight of Cups, about moving on, leaving a situation behind, is clarified by the Fool. The Fool is saying that this, for you having, for you or whoever your partner, it, I'm seeing more on like this spread. This spread is about you deciding, wanting to move on from a, from an event, from a situation. And it's calculated risk. You have planned, sorry, this, this Fool is supposed to be in reverse. In reverse, I don't know how are you looking at the video, but... This full in reverse is clarifying, clarifying with for the eight of cups over here. So it's about moving on, and it's a calculated risk. It is not exactly a fool who is who is a uh, uh, out of a moment of folly who is taking a a very risky adventure. But no, this fool is in reverse, and it, in reverse, this is about calculated move. Someone over here who's thinking about leaving, it could be you, could be your partner who's thinking about leaving has has planned has not planned but you can take it as it is, has actually uh, give it a very thorough uh, think through and uh, give it a very thorough thought about the relationship right now. And we have got a hermit who's on the lookout on the search for the lovers. The lovers is a clarifier for the hermit card over here. So the hermit card is someone who's on the lookout on uh, to search for a new life path, new journey for the lovers card, uh, for the lovers. So it's something, it's, someone is on the search over here it could be you on the search on a search for someone who's more compatible with you uh which is the lovers over here and then we have got six of wands six of wands about someone feeling victorious uh someone having the upper hand with three of wands over here so yeah this person who's having the upper hand is having options over here having options or uh, having to decide to move on in a in a very strong position, in a very it's in a much stronger position than the other half, the other person. It could be you in a strong position, or your partner is in a strong position, and your whoever is in a strong position right now is having to decide to decide ab about something over here. Three of Wands. Having to move on is and it's definitely about moving on, moving on and moving away. And then again, the earlier star card, the earlier star card clarified by nine of wands. Nine of wands is about again, it's also about vic uh, feeling victory, victorious. So, I think all all in all, Virgos, you just want a relationship that is a balance. There is a balance and a mixture of both. Uh, where both parties are giving, uh, giving the same and taking the same amount. It's, it must be a very fair relationship, a very fair and um, a, a well-balanced relationship. But apparently in this spread itself, it's looking like there is some imbalance over here and there's some incompatibility over here between the both of you couples. There's incompatibility and it's not something that you want. You would ideally see yourself you and your other half to be on par to be the same to be uh, as good as strong as successful um, 
just it, it should be a two way two way for you but apparently it's saying that in your spread right now in your love spread for couples it's saying that your relationship is not a healthy it's not a healthy one it's not in a good state it's not in a healthy state where it's it's going both ways it's only it's right now it is only going a sing uh one way so the clarifier the clarifier here for 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 your general energy being the four of sword is about you planning planning and thinking about and that's four of ones you are thinking about four of ones is actually about stability over here you want stability so it's either if this person is not able to give you the stability make you feeling a sense of stability you will leave but otherwise it would also mean it could just mean that you want stability and you continue to plan and to manifest stability within your relationship right now all right so couples that's all for you your love reading uh, i hope it helps and i will see you again soon